Now let's look at stitch regulation. You'll see that it's on the R now, and in stitch regulation, you get a consistent stitches per inch. So with our machine, we can go from four stitches per inch, which is a quarter inch, up to, we'll keep going up to 18 stitches per inch. 18 is really tiny stitches for like micro quilting. So when you're doing normal quilting, you would probably want to do stitches per inch at about 10 or 12. So let's go ahead and move it down to 10 stitches per inch. And right now we are in precision stitch. That means that when the machine, when I press the start stop button and the needle starts moving, the needle actually won't move until I move the machine and the machine reads that movement, the encoder, it reads that and then it will start stitching. When I press that button here, it puts me in what we call cruise. And in cruise, it gives me a stitches per minute and I have a setting for that. And it also gives me the stitches per inch, which I have a setting for that. So right now in my cruise, I have it down, I can put it down to that 50. And we saw that in our manual mode, how slow 50 goes. And if you want it to start moving as you start your pressure start stop button and you uh, have it at 50, it's going to start moving even though you haven't moved the machine. But when I move the machine, it goes into that stitch regulation and stitches my 10 stitches per inch. If I were to stop moving the machine without turning off the start stop button, then the, the needle would continue at that stitches per minute at 50, which is a really slow movement. Why would I use cruise? Why would I use precision? Well, let's go back to precision. The reason I would use precision is if I am using rulers and I'm moving my ruler and I want the needle to stop and not pound stitches in that area, I, I can stop moving the machine, I can adjust my ruler, and the needle sits there somewhere in that revolution. Not in the down, not in the up, but somewhere in that cycle. Then, as I move the machine again, it starts stitching. Now in cruise, why would I use cruise? When I do feathers or any time I want to do uh, stitch over the top, retrace, I like that needle to continue to move at a slow pace and it helps me stitch accurately over the top of that. It also finishes that stitch where re precision, it stops anywhere in the cycle uh, cruise, it finishes the stitch as I start stitching or as I back out of a stitch. So those are the two different types of stitch regulation.